I might have found the best out-of-the-box harmonica on the market right now, and I'm surprised that nobody is talking about it, so I will today. It's the Archaea Signature, and I'll tell you about what makes it special coming up. Hey friends, Jonah Fox here, and today I am reviewing the Archaea Signature. This harp is produced by a small company in France, and it's straight up the best harmonica that I've ever played. Let's talk about it. Archaea is a French company that has two models of harmonicas for sale, the Origin and the Signature. What makes these harmonicas different is their Reed Stabilization System, or RSS for short. There's two parts of this system. First, they try to use a very particular comb that is supposed to eliminate the gaps that are normally there between the comb and the reed play as much as possible. I really like the comb and I'll talk about it more in a bit. The second part of this system is the airflow control plate that goes over the blow reeds. You can see what it does here as I take apart the harmonica. The plate funnels air coming out of your blow reeds into a smaller hole, making it more airtight. Ideally, this level of airtightness should allow the harmonica to overblow on most holes, and I suspect that's why most people buy these harmonicas for the overblows, and I'll test them in a minute. As I said earlier, this company offers two harmonicas, the Origin and the Signature. And I have the Signature right here, which is their higher end model. From what I can tell, the big difference between these two is what reed plates they use. The Origin uses Kongsheng plates, and the Signature uses Honer crossover plates. The Origin is $84 US, and the Signature is a whopping $157. No doubt, these are really expensive harmonicas, but are they worth it? To answer that, we need to talk about the current state of buying harmonicas out of the box. Usually, when I pick up a new harmonica, I'm a little disappointed. Most of the time, out-of-the-box harps have some issues with their reed setups. It almost doesn't matter how much you spend, you're gonna probably deal with some problems eventually. I've had cheap harmonicas that are very well set up and airtight, and I've had expensive harmonicas harmonicas that are poorly set up, impossible to bend, and leaky. To me, buying a harmonica always feels a bit like a gamble. Now, if you are willing to open your harmonica up and adjust the reed gapping once you learn how to do it, then most harmonicas can become very playable, if not really exceptional instruments. However, if you're not willing to do reed setup or you're just bad at it or you're worried about breaking your reeds, then you have to settle with a less than perfect instrument. To me, that's pretty frustrating and I'm sure it is for you as well. With that said, this company has been on my radar for a while and I've been curious about how their harps perform, but there's not many reviews of Archaea harmonicas and I've heard pretty much no one talking about them. So I decided to take the leap myself and I got the Archaea signature, which is the more expensive version. I will review the origin in the future when I get my hands on one, but I know I really like Honer crossovers, and I assumed that the version with Honer crossover reads was going to be better for my taste, so I decided to get the pricier model. I got it recently, and let me tell you, this harmonica slaps. Let me play a little. <laughs> Let's talk about the performance of these harmonicas. I have never played a harmonica that bends as easily as this one. Compared to the Honer crossovers and rockets that I generally play, it's 
easily a step above those harmonicas as far as quality and airtightness. The bends feel so snappy and responsive that it's honestly just a joy to play. I've played a lot of harmonicas, but I was blown away by this one. Now, I don't know if you play any other instruments, but I'm a guitar player among other things. And sometimes when you're shopping for a guitar, you'll find one that just has a magical neck. Certain guitar necks just make your fingers glide. I mean, I remember when I got my first high-end electric guitar, this one right here, the GNL ASAT, and I, before buying it, I had played hundreds of guitars. And this one that I bought had one of those magical necks that I was talking about. Your hands would just glide through it and it just felt so good to play for me. I was surprised that with harmonica, I really haven't felt that kind of experience. Most 40 to $50 harmonicas generally feel okay with some quality control problems. And some of the higher end harmonicas might feel a little bit nicer, but I've never played a harmonica up till this point that made me feel like I was playing a really premium instrument. Let's talk about the comb on this harp. This company offers two combs. There's the Flex Orange and the Antibacterial Blue. The orange comb is supposed to give your harmonica a brighter tone, while the blue comb is a little bit more matte in sound, but it claims to be made of a material that kills bacteria in a few hours. I record a lot of music on my C harmonica in particular for you know YouTube videos and things from my course. So I decided to get the brighter orange comb version because I wanted the best sound quality possible. And let me tell you, feeling wise, this comb is amazing. Just like those guitars I mentioned with those magical necks, this is probably the first harmonica that makes me feel in a similar way. I just glide on this thing. I'm a tongue blocking player, so my tongue is always on the harmonica and it just feels really good to me. I'm not really sure what the material is and they don't say on their website. It looks like some sort of 3D printed type of plastic, but I don't know, I love it. The orange color gives the harmonica an interesting look too. I'm not sure if I like the orange that much, but it is distinctive. And I really do, however, like the look of that extra reed plate that's on the back with the Archaea label on it. It's unique as far as harmonicas go, and it's cool, I like it. The cover plates are also really good on this harp, and I don't feel any especially sharp edges that were bothering me. This is usually my biggest reason for not liking a harmonica, and the covers on this harp are good. It's pretty standard, no complaints here. Sound wise, I love the bright tone of this harmonica. I'm going to compare it now to a few other harmonicas that I have lying around, the Honor Rocket, Crossover, and Special 20. Check it out. Here's the Archaea. Okay, here is a Honor Crossover. Here is a Honor Rocket. And here is a special 20. And let's just go back to the Archaea one more time. It's pretty subtle, but to me, this is the best sounding harmonica that I own. Next, let's talk about the overblows. For my harmonicas, I want them to be able to overblow on holes four, five, and six. If I can get the overdraw on hole seven or the overblow on hole one, that's just a bonus, it's nice, but most of my harmonicas can't play them, so I generally don't focus on those notes. I don't need to be able to overblow on every hole as well, because a lot of bends uh, will play the notes that you can normally overblow to. So how do they work here? Well, a little worse than advertised, but still really good. The overblows on four, five, and six work pretty well. So here's hole four. Okay, here's five. A little slow to trigger on that one. Here's six. Okay, so they work pretty well. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more adjustment just to make them a little bit faster to trigger and a little bit more airtight, but they're already very playable. On this harp, hole one is really close to being able to overblow but not quite there yet. And I can hear it like start to trigger, so I'm gonna do a little bit of adjustment to clean that up. Also, I can't get the overdraw on hole seven. I do know how to overdraw but nothing's happening on this harp. So I'm not sure how I feel about this because this harmonica, the Archaea Signature, costs a lot of money and I would want every overblow to work ideally, 
But in the end, this is still an out of the box harmonica and hasn't been customized by a harmonica tech. So really quick, after I filmed this review, I did take this harmonica apart and do my own adjustment, which just means I got the reeds to be a little bit better gapped than they were out of the factory, but this was pretty good as far as its default state. So I went and changed a few things and I found some of the blow reeds were a little leaky and so I did some adjustment and now it overblows really well. So here's hole four, here's five, hole six, and I'm still working on my technique, but I was also able to get hole seven too. Which is really great for playing the blues scale all the way up in the high octave. So yeah, with some adjustment, this is functioning very, very well. If you are learning how to overblow, then you want a harmonica that isn't going to fight you, and this is the one to get to practice on. I can pretty confidently say that, and you could probably also get the cheaper Origin and have similar results, but again, I haven't tested that one myself. Overall, this is a great harmonica and totally worth buying if you want to experience a harp that feels like a step above the rest. Obviously, the price is a big factor for this harp. The signature is $157 imported from France, and I'm sure you can find some custom harmonicas at around the same price. You need to decide if this is worth it to you if you're spending this kind of money. If you do decide to pick one up, you're going to get a really quality instrument that is probably overblowable and super airtight. So that's the Arkea signature. It's really good, and I wouldn't be surprised if I eventually get a whole set of these. I'm going to leave you today with an original blues song as a demo. I hope you enjoy.